right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. It is, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it was worth a shot. Keys, it is, I guess. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry. I mean the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? been a waste of a bullet. What do you mean? She was dead anyway. I'm not in the euthanasia business. Whoa, man. She was a person. She's gone now anyway. I'm trying to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Not now. All right.
Everything okay? Mm-hmm. There's no getting in there from out here. That grate does its job. Nothing I need in here. Sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. I don't remember them very well. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. It's all melted now. Go have a look around outside. Let's have a look around. Okay. It's doing what locks do. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. I can't reach that brick. 
guys try to get in there and get weapons. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of you? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. So. Right. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. We wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I knew some folks here. Seemed like as good a place as any. Oh, friends? Family? They around? Family, but it doesn't seem like it. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Let's head back inside. Okay. How's he doing? I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Can I do anything for you, Carly? I'm fine, thanks. You all right, Lee? I'm okay. Thanks. Hey, guys. If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Doc, you want to 
get this door open? About that. You've got the candle, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? There we go. Holy crap! Run! Man, that was close. But we did it. That's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there.
time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I ain't got doors not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. <laughs> If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Shit! Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Okay, then. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. Oh, wait. That window is screwed. Go. Especially a good friend. Yeah. 